We totally passed out. Totally passed out, guys. Oh god, what are you what oh my god, really? Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Writer's note. Oh my god, are we back here? Are we back in Winterhold? Did you Mining see my husband is hard already? work. I'm sorry. But we pay a fair price a for any ore you dig up. Alright, hold on. Let's read some notes. I got so many notes. Okay, so we got two pilgrim notes. Traveler, we found you frozen near to death while passing through this area. While the others in my group suggested we leave you to your fate, I spotted an unoccupied camp nearby and insisted that we move you there. To your great fortune, they agreed. It pains me to admit it, but we took a few coins from your pack. Such is generally not our way, but without proper supplies, we may never make it to our destination. Perhaps it was fate that we meet one another under these peculiar circumstances. You are beginning to stir, so I suppose this is farewell. Whatever you seek, I hope that you find it sincerely. A fellow pilgrim. So how many, that happened to me twice? And then who's this guy, Ryder? I happened upon your shivering frame while riding on horseback. My business was urgent, so although I could not take you to the nearest village, I thought it best to take you with me. If the gods see fit for you to rise another day, then I hope that you will remember to help someone else in their own time of need. May fortune smile upon you. Uh, okay. It looks like I am in the, the next village. We should go out and find the missing. Oh, I read that one. Okay. Uh, so apparently I was saved by like three people. Um, also, somebody tried to kill me, so that's cool. Kill your target. You have few time again. You have few time again, Master E. What? Why is someone trying to kill me? What the hell did I do? You know this? Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? You need to tell me about kind of robes. Yeah, bunch of lazy rabble trying to make a living. Can't get better workers in because everyone's afraid of the tomb up above the mine. Dead dragons. It hasn't moved since Ysgramor, and it's not going to start now. Superstitious milk drinkers. All right. So I guess we were taking a kind scrub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which is pretty. It's just, that's like that's like really close to uh, Windhelm. So I mean, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we're never making it back to the college, are we? Uh, <laughs> Hi there. By the time we make it back to the college, we're gonna be like, oh man, we're gonna be so. We have much more seasoned traveler, adventure, whatever you want to call us. Okay. I'm <laughs> just like, I'm just like, I'm just so done. Look at my face. I'm like, uh, oh my god, are you serious? I'm Die, dude. I just, I just basically died. Yeah, I lost my spirits after I was frozen to death. So, I'm frostbitten like everywhere, right? Yeah, my body, feet, hands, and head. Oh boy, guys, three, three, three minutes for three minutes. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be real world minutes. Can she claws do twelve? Okay, that's cool. As I'm a mage. Anyway. I don't know. Sorry guys, I'm just a little salty about that whole thing. But I, I mean I guess I'm supposed to be like higher level. So that's twelve. I mean how how cold is it here? No, I wanna know how cold it is here again. Game. Sun is radiant. Uh, oh, I'm getting colder though. Okay, so I mean, I should probably be making the other things, right? Still, resourcefulness or something. Hmm. Uh, a pumpkin. What? 
Why are we making pumpkins? What the hell? What's that about? Pumpkins. Snow burying abstract. Yes. I have too many of those. Witch's tent. Uh, I'm not a witch. But sure. Okay. Oh, these are the... Okay. Yeah, I have a mod that adds a bunch of camping stuff. So that's what that's about. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. But I was actually looking for this. There we go. And I still don't have enough for that armor. I mean... I'll make this one. Find out if the other one actually gives me more coverage, but for now I'm going to wear this one. Because I don't want to get murdered. Because I don't want to have all those bonuses. Oh, damn it. Okay. So, 110, 54. 60 and 35. Okay, now this is better. This is better. So we'll check the other ones. Find out. I should have a lot more than that. Yeah. Like 140 something? These alone are like a bunch, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, so those endurance perks are what we really need. To like, like this one, I think can go and. Well, I'm not doing it right now. Uh, but yeah, like when we start getting cold again, uh, you just build like a fire and set up a camp, and then you'll try to tent and warm up. I mean, warm up. And you need firewood for that, or dead wood. But for both those things, you need an axe, so I don't want that at all. So we're gonna go buy some materials and stuff like that. That's, uh, that's what you gotta do. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Windhelm. The, uh, the city with the longest entrance in existence. The longest, like, in the world. Alright, so hey everyone, we're back and I've actually updated quite a few mods. I've taken a, a few out and I've put a few in, and one of them is holidays. And it looks like they're asking us for a birthday now. So we're going to randomize it, of course. That's, uh, that's what this playthrough is about. So I'm going to check that when we get into the town at the inn, which it looks like is where you can do that. And then I've installed Footprints, which I'm really excited has come out. So that's really awesome. Uh, I'm really excited about Pokemon Town. It's like a super dumb thing to be super excited about, but I love it. Because it's just footprints. It's weird when you don't have footprints. Like, you're going to walk on that on that snow and there's not going to be footprints. Of course there's going to be footprints. So, yeah, really excited about that. And the other thing I really need to tell you guys about is I have installed a mod. Well, I've uninstalled the mod that changes the character's faces, and I've installed a new mod wanted. that I feel our food, you pollute and our city with makes stink, look a little bit better. And refuse to help the so, storm cloaks. If people's faces look different, that's why. Because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, which is fine. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? I mean, no. <laughs> uh... Right. Okay. This is, this is heavy to begin with. Whatever the history of our peoples, hatred is blind and its victims are many. The Dunmer used the Vegeta slaves. Hatred is the only proper response now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw a little bit of history at you for this one. Then we have nothing more to talk about. Alright, cool. That's, all right. 
Anyway. Name's <laughs> new. I'm just trying I'm to get a, a, an axe, all right? Oh. You know, you walk in and you're like, you know, I just need an axe. Thank you very much, by the way. Um, it looks like you've already got one. So, I mean, why, why, why do you need to? You don't need to. Anyway. So, you know, I just walk into town and you're looking for an axe. And, you know, then there's like racial tensions and stuff. And you're like, no, I, I just need an axe because I was freezing to death, you know. I already, I was already picked up by some people on the road for being almost frozen to death. Can believe that? Yeah, no, I'm just, you know, all I need is snacks. And you guys come at me with your, with your stuff, with your heavy, heavy racial Good tensions in the city. And you're like, you know, oh, you know, be, be, you know, interact with us. And I'm like, I just, I just need an axe. All right. That's what I'm here for. I mean, maybe some quests, but like, really, or just need an axe so I don't die. Working in Wendhelm is also, great. I get to <laughs> After that rant, uh, thank you to Lex Samrath and John Keys for, uh, for for mentioning that axe because I totally forgot about that. And they're absolutely right that you do need one to survive in Crossfall or with Crossfall and Crystal. Uh, yeah, to gather some wood and to like actually make a, a fire to well, stay warm. Hello. So that is a that is exactly what we're going to do with this axe. Yes. Yes, okay. I know, dude. Um, so I'm going to cut some wood, actually. So we'll probably be right back, because I'm definitely going to cut that out. It's going to be really boring to watch. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Got to have the little right. bits, too. You, you, mind, you mind get out of the way? Nails? Nails, I know I saw your axe, buddy. Come on. So let me, let, me, let, me, let me get some of that wood there, though. Come on, Nails. When I'm oh my god, Nails. Wood. I pretend there's an oh. Imperial soldier's head on the stump. Come on. Yeah, you, you got you got it. Okay. So we're gonna be cutting wood somewhere else. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Alright, so we're gonna be cutting wood later on is uh is what's gonna happen there because Nails won't get off that, that wood chopping block, so we're just gonna have to do it somewhere else. Then. So that's fine. That's fine. He just took you off. No, he's still on. Alright. No, he's still on there. So we're just gonna go about our business. Come back there maybe at night. Yes, at night. He's gone to sleep. Oh, we're gonna be getting that. Be getting that. Yes, we are. Anyway, so. <laughs> I don't haggle. No, oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Uh, so I'm a little curious about, uh, yeah, so you're an elf, and it doesn't seem like people like elves here. So how, how's that going for you? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Alright, so yeah, now everyone's just it's like, no, the Dark Elves, screw the Dark Elves, apparently. So, what exactly is all we're doing in Windfell? Hmm? I mean, Shane, they're everywhere. I mean, that's not, that's a weird question to ask. My subconscious mind. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. All right, that's that was a short answer. Okay, cool. I'll see you again soon. Uh, excuse me, I'm just buying stuff here for for Bjorn. Oh, you didn't even buy. It. What are you doing that for? What? I've been what meaning been to speak to you, Naranya. Rumor is you've got ties to the thieves guild. One should never pay too much attention to rumors, Torbjorn. You have piqued my curiosity, however. Please do continue. It's a bad time to be a criminal, what with these murders going on. What? In fact, thieves have been known to kill if there's a profit in it. What do you mean this murders? has been hard on all of us. Not that I'd know anything about it, of course, but it seems to me that the last thing a thieves' guild would want is to draw attention to itself. The eyes of the law are everywhere these days. Guards are looking for a killer, but who knows what a 
else they might turn up. Good day. Do you have a reason for making such a mess? Wait, now are you talking to me? How do you even do anything? Lord Nilsen has been wrecked since her sister was dead. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Um... The rest of the morning? Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong mead, but nothing gives my Tova peace. I've been looking for an amulet of RK to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. I'm smart a quest, yes. Uh, I'll see if I can find one for you. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. This is his wife, isn't it? Yes, it is. I've been a bit out of sorts since... Since our daughter was taken from us, Hold on. not really sure what to do with myself anymore. Okay. I just good afternoon. So much. Yeah, do you grow grow all your crops? You know, I'm taking I'm taking some census data. Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm, fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard Woundfirth pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for? Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Uh. Who is Woodford? I'm new, so I mean I'll do it, but like it could take months. I'm just I'm just saying. Thanks. Sure. Uh. Cool. Yeah, I mean it's pretty frozen. Uh, how do you do that? There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Eat rocks and ice? I mean, you can eat ice. That just won't be nutritious. Good day to you. All right. Lord Nielsen has been wrecked since her sister was killed. Okay. Fancy robes. So, a wizard or something? Mm. Oh, thank you again. This is more right. shopkeepers. You know, find out their life stories, you know, record that down.